Turn on the hatch. Back to floor sanding. <sighs> Oh, that's where my vice grips is in the bathtub. Isn't that where everybody keeps their vice grip? There's an extra bar for the floor sanding machine that I'll never use. It's all going in the basement. Whatever. On the floor, it'll sink into the ground. We started off, no, 36. We started off with 20. Go, 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 go. Ah! Eh, it'll find a hole. Good. Hope I turned the power off. It's over there. I'm 
listening to the story.org with Dick Gordon. They have two fellows on the met at Facebook, at the company Facebook. They developed a site called Good RX, Good Prescription, Good RX. And it gives you the lowest price for your prescription, cut the pills in half, save money again. It's amazing. The difference is huge. Sometimes the pharmacy will match the price. Some doctors have no clue what things cost, they just prescribe. Go on your mobile app, GoodRx, and find out how much your prescription is really worth at a pharmacy down the street or across town or mail order or whatever the case is, but it's amazing. And sometimes you can buy the pills for less than your copay for the whole pill. The prescription is 17 and somewhere else wants 80, your copay is 40, so you're still paying 40 bucks. And with this site, you can find out that you can get the pills that you need for less than your copay. It's just insanity. The healthcare system is fine, it's just getting access to it, getting value for your dollar. What do these places care what things cost as long as they're getting paid? Good RX, look it up, that's my promotional blurb. Vice Grips. Made in USA, DeWitt, Nebraska, not anymore. Cancelled. Good RX. I'll check it out. Couple there. I'll wiggle this radiator out of the way and sand all this after I take my Good RX prescription. Slime. Yep. You move the radiators, out comes a hundred years of slime on the nicely sanded floors. Yep. Boy, moving these radiators is much harder than it appears. I'll tell you why in a minute. Oh boy. I took that battery from the Hyundai and I brought it downstairs to my battery charging area and I put it on my outdoorsman Napa battery charger and it showed 100% charge, but that charger is not 100% accurate because I'll be charging a battery and it will say 80% and I'll unplug it and plug it back in right away and it says 100%. So, I don't know, but as you heard, the car started with the better battery with some gas sprayed into the intake. <sighs> what a mess. What a mess. Mr. CW is going to be here to help me move one radiator. I can't move it because the hole is exactly the width of the radiator and I have no room to move the pipe even a fraction of an inch. Terrible. So I got two radiators out and I was able to nudge them. But I can't get the third one, the middle room, out of the way and I still got the pipe in the way and it's debatable if I should remove that pipe or not. Slime water. Okay, this one. Pipe is right up tight against the wood. And I can't get the radiator out. I don't want to force stuff. Those radiators are heavy. If I bust it, bust the pipe or something, bust the floor up. Down the drain. Best place for slimy water is in the sewer. Yep. Got a 
sand around the edges, lots of work to do still. Radiators, gotta love them. 